Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Carol Earl from Bristol, Virginia. And today continues uh, my day four on our, um, what do you call it? Yeah, 30 day <laughs> video challenge. Anyway, I'm doing this because, I mean, it's really great, guys. So, one obstacle that everyone has is getting over producing a live video. And if you'd like to have a 30 day challenge and get you going with what to say and how to use, video every day i'd be happy to share share a document with you that will give you topics to talk about for the next 30 days anyway and that's what i'm all about too is i help people with their businesses or themselves even just how to brand you or your business online and it's going to take a lot of videoing you have to. I mean, this is how people are communicating, and it's the best way to do it. So this challenge is good for anyone. Um, I've been making videos for a while now, but I thought I'd, <laughs> I'd try the 30-day video challenge also. So anyway, today's topic was, um, let me read it here exactly, um, is to talk about a time when you hit a brick wall mentally, and what did you do to overcome it? And tomorrow will be your biggest goal in life. But for day, today, um, hitting a brick wall mentally and what I did to overcome it. I guess, you know, it goes back to yesterday's, you know, talking about your saddest time and how it affected you. Um, is really the biggest brick wall that I've ever hit when I lost my husband, a sister, and my father all in the same year. Um, if you watched yesterday, she'll know that yeah, it affected me real bad for a long time. And it took me a while to get over it. But what happened when I hit a brick wall with all that? I mean, I didn't know if I was coming, going, should I stand up, sit down, whatever. And this is really um, a little bit more <laughs> than what someone would do if they hit a brick wall. But mine was so severe that I actually checked myself in to the hospital for about five days to help me get my head on straight. and. When I got out, I still, you know, kind of dumbfounded and really still didn't know which direction to go. But and it took me a little bit. But what I did was just some mental gymnastics to get myself back into the world, into communicating and talking to others. And in talking to, to others and building friendships, that really helped me. Um, it really did because without other people in your life, you know, and friends, you know, you're kind of knocking on death's door in a sense, uh, like I was. But I just started communicating with people and I saw the things that were obstacles in my life and I just dealt with them head on. And in my scenario was I couldn't stay in the house I was in any longer that my husband and I had bought for our retirement. And there are so many memories about that. So what I tend to do is to take a step forward away from whatever that issue is to deal with it and so i sold my house and moved on started a new life here in bristol and um knew that being up at brick wall wasn't going to get me anywhere you know and at some point you have to just turn around look at your life objectively um point out and know what things you don't want and what things you do want. Uh, sometimes you can even make a list of these things, what you want to change and what you want more out of life, you know, goals that you would want. And what I wound up realizing and doing was that it really put me in a position where <clears throat> I had to look at my life and know that like with my kids, that I didn't have a relationship with them. You know, my world was always about my husband and me and, you know, kids just like I didn't even know how to deal with them. <clears throat> so after going through the stress of all that, I realized, you know, oh, wait a minute, my kids and my grandkids, those are the most important objects in my life. <clears throat> so it was going out and deciding, OK, how can I improve that? What can I do to change those relationships? Um, to get closer to them or with anything that you have when you have a goal you know make a list what do you need to do to 
create that a reality, to make it towards your goal. And it really takes a lot of soul searching. And I realize that in order to reach my goals, well, I'm going to have to have more than a social security check. <laughs> That's for sure. So, and I happened upon a fantastic seven-figure marketer online, and I've been following his footsteps ever since. And if you're looking for a business or yourself you want to put out there online and start a new you, <laughs> um, let me know. I can help you. I can, I've helped several people, you know, just changing, change their life around and to concentrate on what's important to them and how to reach it. So I guess that's kind of what I did is you've got to go through the realization that you're stuck. Um, and then you have to go through the realization that there is other life out there and what are your goals and what you can do to reach them. So and that's a big issue. When you hit that brick wall, it's like, okay, time to analyze your life and what you're doing, where you're going um, against where you've been and don't want to go back to um, and look for towards the future. So basically that's kind of what I do. And sometimes too, when I hit the minor brick walls here and there that, kind of go against what I'm trying to do or want to do. Um, but I know I have to go through something that I might not want to. And I just take it on full steam, knowing that within that particular situation I'm in, that there will be something to learn about it. So I go through it and learn the best I can from it and then take the lessons I learned from it and apply them to my future and my day today and moving forward. So I guess that kind of answers the question what do I do when I hit a brick wall and like I said tomorrow's video what I say that was it was going to be on let's see oh your biggest goal in life so that will be tomorrow and again if you're interested and you want to try to do this challenge with us just you know say yes you know and I'll get back to you um, but anyway so for now <laughs> that was my day four of my um, video challenge of 30 days so i'll say goodbye for now and hopefully i'll talk to you soon thanks guys bye